Jerry Holland has been Hopkinton's town clerk since 2012 and overall has worked for the town of Hopkinton about 20 years, including 16 years working as an operations assistant. At the end of 2015, she will be officially retired as Hopkinton's town clerk. I asked Jerry to talk about her experience working for the town. So I started in 1996 working um, as the uh, assistant to the executive secretary at that time. And uh, we saw the ch I saw the chatted through. Uh, we went from f uh, three members of the Board of Selectmen to five members once the charter was um, accepted and approved. Um, town, state, etc. Then, then that's when we went to a town manager. So that um, at that time I became the operation assistant to the present town manager right now uh, is um, Mr. Kamalo. Uh, I had previously worked with one town manager before that and then Mr. Kamalo came on and, and then I was there for a little bit more and I ran for the, I didn't run for the election at that point, I became the assistant um, town clerk. And then when the previous clerk, Ann Click, said she was going to resign, is when I actually said, okay, I'll run for the position, uh, run for the election. And um, that was in 2013. I started here in this office in 2012, so I was here for the presidential uh, election, etc. And then I ran for the election in 2013 and have been here since. Jerry talked about what she will miss most about her job. I can't, I have to say that I put, I, it's working with the people, basically. Uh, the different uh, department heads uh, throughout the years. Uh, in the beginning, I was here, it was just me and the executive secretary <clears throat> hiring the first, you know, the the uh, fire chief maybe, or the, uh, um, going through a lot of that. I was a lot part of that with the unions and, um, getting to know the um, the different offices and working with the fire department and DPW, and of course things changed on that and that that part. So I would have to say it's really the people. I love I love working with the people, and I was seeing people coming in and bringing them up, see us to the land use planning department because uh, they're not sure where to go, or what to do, and I'll I'll bring them up and introduce them. Uh, to the staff, basically, or who's there, and then I walk down and I continue to just do my job, and uh, I think that's it. And town has afforded me, I, that's how I met my friend Cheryl Perrault, and we started the Women's Art Forum together. I met her in the town hall. Her daughters had it, were part of the Nacho here on the second floor, and pretty soon we're, uh, we've been together, we've been very good friends for almost 20 years, actually. Uh, and, 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 and so, yes, I will miss that part of it. I definitely will miss that. I've been um, planning and trying to uh, always get things in order. I think that's one of my strengths as an organization. And I have every confidence in the, uh, the assistant town clerk, Brenda McCann, to continue that. Um, and that's part of why I made my decision at this point. I had to take care of some of my family business. Um, and so I'm hoping to continue uh, giving more time maybe to projects just because I'm um, continuing some of my art um, therapy sessions over at Serenity House. I was an art therapist with the state for DYS for a few years and I do have a home studio so I'm looking forward to completing some of those projects that I've started um, and also with the respite center with Mary and Sharon. I remember when they first started in town and I was able to give some time there but haven't been in the, so much in this the last few years or so. Um, also looking forward to spending time with my husband and um, I want to um, create a little children's book series for my granddaughter so she'll know who her grandparents are and her family and uh, I'll miss H. Cam. We used to do all the shows, Norman and I, town manager, we do shows on H. Cam. but I'll still be around hopefully. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. But yeah. Um, how, how does it feel in these last few days leading up to uh, retirement? I'm sure there must be a lot of emotions. Uh, I, I, residents have been on, I want to thank the residents of the town since I made my announcement 
Uh, they stop as I'm walking. I was very, I, I really came in over the weekend actually to write that announcement. Uh, that's how important it was to me for people to understand that it was a difficult decision for me to do this at this time, but I, how much I love this community and how much support I've had for them. So in a way, the community, thank you so much for stopping um, as I'm walking or just saying to me, thank you so much for your years, I'm happy for you. That, that means the world to me, it really means the world to me because it was difficult for me to do this. And um, so yeah, I, I think being around the Christmas holidays is most likely kind of helping it along the way for me to do that. But honestly, on January 2nd, I'm gonna be at Prudge just because helping to do inventory. And then I, I just need to spend time uh, trying to figure out what my husband and I are gonna do in the future. So yeah, I'm very cool with everything. I really am. And I think because of the community and like you Tom coming in, it's great. Or the mailman who just came in, Mark, who I know by name. When are you leaving now? Yeah, those are the, and I think it's a happy time of season too, Christmas, celebration of uh, Christmas and um, yeah. That's it. Well, the community certainly owes you a big thank you for all you've done for this town throughout well, the years. Well, thank you. Are you kidding me? Thank you for accepting me and receiving me and for helping me through the years just by uh, by your giving back, too. So, thank you. I, and I want to thank the most wicked, coolest police department, fire department, DPW in at school even I know that uh, through the years and the support from different projects um, I just I, I can't thank them enough I love all of you and I can't express that enough and I think you know that public library um, I just love this community in so many ways so and my church I go to faith community and St. John's I love St. John's so I kind of like to pre travel and visit so and thank everybody like that. Thank you so much. And Jim at <laughs> HCAM and Mike. Oh my gosh, I don't want to miss anybody's name. So you know who you are. Okay, that's it. All right, well, thank congratulations Thanks, on a great Tom. career and I'm sure we'll be seeing you around. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you will. Thanks, Tom.